many of them? Can't tell, sir. Can only hear them at the moment. to many people who'd worked on A Bridge Too Far. Pretty epic production, script by William Goldman, directed by Richard Attenborough. Probably one of the most ambitious World War II films ever made after The Longest Day. You had a chance to be a part of that, and you were in the thick of that. Um, do you have any memories? I mean, that movie stars you, and then somewhere down the line, Robert Redford, Anthony Hopkins, and Sean Connery, who you did a couple of movies with. You were also in Cuba yeah. with Sean Connery. But do you have any like bridge too far moments you can share with us? Because we're avid fans of that movie. Well, I have to say uh, that was my first film and uh, it was my favorite to work on. It was uh, a phenomenal piece of work. Uh, I was out there in uh, September 1976 uh, for three weeks uh, on location in the Netherlands. Uh, coinciding with the time that uh, Ryan O'Neill and Robert Redford were there. Um, but also I got a chance to meet uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier and uh, Liv Allman, who were shooting at that time. Nice. But I have to be honest that all the rest of the big stars, uh, that production ran from, um, I think, around April of that year to possibly October. Um, a lot of a lot of actors at my level uh, and non-actors uh, who were getting into the business as extras, and one of them was uh, my friend and colleague Dickie Beer, was on that film. Were out there for about five months or six months on um, unusual equity contracts, uh, where they performed as extras. They were trained as soldiers. Uh, by retired Royal Marines and, uh, you know, Army people, uh, one of which is a good friend of mine, Jack McKenzie, who was a Royal Marine who was in Star Wars. Um, he, um, they went out there for, as I say, for they lived in a, uh, an old girls' school that they converted into a barracks. And they, by the time I showed up, they were called Attenborough's Private Army. Uh, there were about 200 of them. And they were like they were in the military. They, 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 they were a fantastic bunch of guys. When they went back to England, they were able to get a lot of mortgages because they made lots of money, beaucoup de dinero. So um, it, it was an amazing experience. I had military training myself. I was in the Navy, as is all of my family, you know, the, the American Navy. Um, and so I really enjoyed being around that environment in, in England. Um, Operation um, Market Garden, as it was known, uh, was something that uh, was legendary. It, it, it wasn't an operation that was particularly well known in the United States. So I would meet people socially and family, friends on my mother's side, who was British. <coughs> and everybody had a, um, 
an Operation Market Garden story to share. Um, it was 30 years later, so a lot of people were still alive. And um, I think everybody had some relation that was in that, that uh, um, operation, uh, either, you know, in the tank commands or glider pilots uh, or, you know, glider uh, soldiers. Uh, I mean, I could go on forever. It was, it was an amazing experience. Um, you had Germans coming in to see us film the scenes, you know, with their wives, uh, Dutch, uh, Americans, uh, Brits, they were all there to, 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 to witness uh, the recreation or the reenactment of, uh, of what happened in, in those days uh, in the places where it was done. So we took Nijmegen Bridge, um, actually from the reverse direction because the camera angles had to be such that uh, you, you were able to see the older parts of Nijmegen, but it was you know, virtually on the site. Um, the crossing was on the Val River, which is uh, one of the uh, estuaries of, of the Rhine. Uh, very powerful current. They had to shut the river down because seven days a week uh, you had barge traffic, uh, you know. And so we had times on Saturday and Sunday where the river got shut down and we did the crossing. And so that was for three consecutive weekends. Um, uh, and it involved a massive number of people, thousands, um, and uh, it was a military operation. And uh, uh, gosh, I mean, you can take me with any questions you want in any direction you want to go, and I will give you a download. It, it, it was my favorite film to work on. I mean, I did quite a few in the 70s, big budget productions, but that one really was uh, an epic experience, and I remember it very well. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Rated R.